Yahusha, Joshua 8. And Yahuwah said unto El Yahusha, Fear not, neither be dismayed. Take eth all the people of war with you, and arise, go up to Ai. See, I have given into your hand eth the king of Ai, and eth his people, and eth his city, and eth his land. And you shall do to Ai and her king as you did unto Yericho and her king. Only the spoil thereof and the cattle thereof shall ye take for a prey unto yourselves. Lay you in ambush for the city behind it. So Yahusha arose and all the people of war to go up against Ai. And Yahusha chose out 30,000 mighty men of valor and sent them away by night. And he commanded them, saying, Behold, ye shall lie in wait against the city, even behind the city. Go not very far from the city, but be ye ready, rather, be ye all ready. And I, and all the people that are with me, will approach unto the city, and it shall come to pass, when they come out against us, as at the first, then we will flee before them. For they will come out after us till we have drawn them from the city. For they will say, They flee before us as at the first. Therefore, we will flee before them. Then ye shall rise up from the ambush and seize upon at the city. For Yahuwah Elohekam will deliver it into your hand. And it shall be when you have taken Eth the city, that ye shall set Eth the city on fire, according to the commandment of Yahuwah shall ye do. See, I have commanded you. Yahusha therefore sent them forth, and they went to lie in ambush, and abode between Beit El and Ai, on the west side of Ai. But Yahusha lodged that night among the people, and Yahusha rose up early in the morning and numbered eth the people, and went up, he and the elders of Yashar'el, before the people to Ai. And all the people, even the people of war that were with him, went up and drew nigh, and came before the city, and pitched on the north side of Ai. Now there was a valley between them and Ai. And he took about five thousand men, and set them to lie in ambush between Beit El and Ai, on the west side of the city. And when they had set the people, even at all the hosts that was on the north of the city, and at their liars in wait on the west of the city, Yahusha went that night into the midst of the valley. And it came to pass, 
when the king of Ai saw it, that they hasted and rose up early. And the men of the city went out against Yashara'el to battle, he and all his people, at a time appointed, before the plain. But he knew not that there were liars in ambush against him behind the city. And Yahusha and all Yashara'el made as if they were beaten before them and fled by the way of the wilderness. And all the people that were in Ai were called together to pursue after them. And they pursued after Yahusha and were drawn away from the city. And there was not a man left in Ai or Beetel that went not out after Yashara'el. And they left at the city open and pursued after Yashara'el. And Yahuwah said unto El Yahusha, Stretch out the spear that is in your hand toward Ai. For I will give it into your hand. And Yahusha stretched out the spear that he had in his hand toward the city. And the ambush arose quickly out of their place. And they ran as soon as he had stretched out his hand. And they entered into the city and took it and hasted and set at the city on fire. And when the men of Ai looked behind them, they saw, and behold, the smoke of the city ascended up to heaven, and they had no power to flee this way or that way. And the people that fled to the wilderness turned back upon their, rather, upon the pursuers. And when Yahusha and all Yashar El saw that the ambush had taken Eth the city and that the smoke of the city ascended, then they turned again and slew Eth the men of Ai. And the other issue out of the city against them so they were in the midst of Yashar'el, some on this side and some on that side. And they smote them so that they let none of them remain or escape. And Eth, the king of Ai, they took alive and brought him to El Yahusha. And it came to pass when Yashar'el had made an end of slaying Eth, all the inhabitants of Ai in the field, in the wilderness, wherein they chased them, and when they were all fallen on the edge of the sword, until they were consumed, that all Yashara'el returned unto Ai, and smote it with the edge of the sword. And so it was that all that fell that day, both of men and women, were 12,000, even all the men of Ai. For Yahusha drew not his hand back, wherewith he stretched out the spear, until he had utterly destroyed Eth, all the inhabitants of Ai, only the cattle and the spoil of that city Yashara'el took for a prey unto themselves, according unto the word of Yahuwah, which he commanded Eth Yahusha. And Yahusha burnt Eth Ai and made it a heap forever, even a desolation unto this day. And at the king of Ai, he hanged on a tree until evening. And 
as soon as the sun was down, Yahusha commanded that they should take Eth, his carcass, down from the tree and cast it at the entering of the gate of the city and raise thereon a great heap of stones that remains unto this day. Then Yahusha built an altar unto Yahuwah Elohim of Yasher El in Mount Eval. As Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah, commanded at the children of Yasher El, as it is written in the Sefer of the Torah of Moshe, an altar of whole stones over which no man has lift up any iron. And they offered thereon burnt offerings unto Yahuwah and sacrificed peace offerings. And he wrote there upon the stones eth a copy of the Torah of Moshe, which he wrote in the presence of of the children of Yashereel. And all Yashereel and their elders and officers and their judges stood on this side, the ark, and on that side before the priests, the Leviim, which bore the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah as well the stranger as he that was born among them, half of them over against Mount Gerizim and half of them over against Mount Ival, as Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah, had commanded before, that they should bless at the people of Yasher El. And afterward, he read eth all the words of the Torah, the blessings and cursings, according to all that is written in the Sefer of the Torah. There was not a word of all that Moshe commanded, which Yahusha read not before all the assembly of Yashar El, with the women and the little ones and the strangers that were conversant among them.